we want to simplify the given expression and then evaluate when x equals five. To simplify the expression, we need to simplify the quotient of the coefficients and the quotient involving the x's. To keep things organized, we can write the given expression as 36 divided by three times x to the fifth divided by x to the third. Well, 36 divided by three is equal to 12, and for x to the fifth divided by x to the third, we subtract the exponents using the exponent property shown here. This would be x raised to the power of five minus three. Five minus three is equal to two, so the given expression simplifies to 12 x squared. And now we want to evaluate the expression when x equals five, so we substitute five for x. And notice the exponent of two is only attached to the base of x, and therefore, when performing this substitution, we would have 12, and then in parentheses, five squared, or raised to the second power. And now to evaluate, because the base is five and the exponent is two, this is equal to two factors of five, so this is equal to 12 times five times five. Five times five is equal to 25, and therefore this simplifies to 12 times 25, and 12 times 25 is equal to 300. So the given expression simplifies to 12x squared, and when x equals five, the expression is equal to 300. Let's look at a second example. We have the same directions, we wanna simplify the given expression, and then evaluate when x equals negative two, and y equals negative three. So we'll first simplify. Remember when simplifying a fraction, we wanna simplify the numerator and denominator separately, so let's first eliminate the parentheses from the denominator by using the power to power property shown here, where a raised to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a raised to the power of m times n. So inside the parentheses, we have three to the first times x to the second times y to the first. All this is raised to the second power, and therefore we're going to multiply all the exponents inside the parentheses by two. So the numerator is going to stay the same, we have 81, x to the seventh, y to the second, divided by, we'll have three raised to the power of one times two, or three squared, x raised to the power of two times two, which is four, and then y raised to the power of one times two, which is equal to two. And now we'll simplify this quotient in parts. So this is equal to, we'd have 81 divided by three squared is equal to nine. So we have 81 divided by nine, and then times x to the seventh, divided by x to the fourth times y to the second divided by y to the second. Well, 81 divided by nine is equal to nine times, we have x to the seventh divided by x to the fourth, which would be x raised to the power of seven minus four, which is three, times y raised to the power of two minus two, which is zero. And y to the zero is equal to one, and therefore the given expression simplifies to nine x to the third. Now we want to evaluate the expression when x equals negative two and y equals negative three. Well, the expression no longer has a y variable in it, again, because we know y to the zero is equal to one. If we did substitute negative three for the base of y, we'd have negative three raised to the power of zero, which is still one. So let's go ahead and substitute negative two for x. So we'd have nine, and then because the base is x, we need the base of negative two in parentheses. This is raised to the third power. The base is negative two, the exponent is three, and therefore we have three factors of negative two. So we have nine times negative two times negative two times negative two. So notice how the cube of negative two is equal to negative eight. So this is equal to nine times negative eight which is equal to negative 72. So the expression simplifies to nine x cubed, and the expression is equal to negative 72 when x equals negative two and y equals negative three. I hope you found this helpful.